Hi guys, this is Linda. Uh, I wanted to help some folks out with a decision I recently had to make regarding surface skimmers. As you can see, I went with the Eheim 350, Skim 350. Uh, one of the reasons I was not sure about the Eheim was I had seen a lot of reviews that said it does not have a guard on it to stop small fish and shrimp from getting sucked into the unit and then killed. Uh, that's not true. Uh, maybe older ones didn't have it, but new ones, I just got this from Chewy today, it just was delivered, brand new, it comes with a guard. And I wanted to do just a quick, quick overview uh, to let you know the main differences between this and the Waze skimmer and uh, mainly show you what the little guard looks like so you can decide if the Oase is right for you or the Eheim is. I went with the Eheim because one of the differences is this outflow. I actually wanted a, I wanted a little more flow in my tank. I wanted a little more concentrated to push water around a little more. The Waze doesn't have that. The water comes out the bottom of the Waze. And for some setups, I'm sure that's you know really good and that's what you need. For what I wanted, this was sort of the selling point for me. Um, I was concerned about smaller fish getting sucked in, um, so I looked around and I thought I saw where this had a guard, and sure enough it does. So let me just show you that real quick. So we're going to go ahead and open the box. We're going to pull this out in the main unit. So of course this is pretty self-explanatory for most folks. Um, it does come with a small, the small impeller in there, right? That's pretty standard. Let's put this down and then open this up. You've got a sponge there, okay? Now some people were saying you cannot clean this without taking the whole unit out. I disagree because you can just snap this off and leave the base in the tank. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys was this. So we've got our unit that floats, right? I'll turn that at an angle so you all can see it better. And then get in the box here. Here's the guard, guys. This is the main thing I wanted to show you. So you see how this is? Comes in the box. It sets down right in here. Now you can see, right, that you know, shrimplets and fry, yeah, they'll get sucked into the waze too, but any nano fish that's over a half inch at least, uh, you're not going to, they're not going to get sucked through this, right? So, and of course, just real quick, it uses suction cups, which the waze does too. I sure would like for these companies to start using magnets like Ciche does, because um, suction cups, they go bad after a while. But anyhow, this was the main thing I wanted to show you guys, so you don't have to worry so much. Um, if you do want the Eheim because you like other features on it, like I do, um, then here you go. There's your guard that comes with it. Okay, you don't have to, unless you have like really, really, really tiny shrimplets and really, really tiny fry, then you might want to wrap something around it. But you'd have to do that with the Awaze as well because the guard on it, the, the width on the guard is not that much more than this. So there you go, guys. Um, quick rundown just to help you all make a decision if you were like me wondering what's the best skimmer for you. Um, for me, again, I like this flow. The Awaze, I, th I would say the main difference between the two, the Awaze, the flow comes a, around a 360 ring down the bottom. It flows out. Whereas this shoots the water out here, so it's a little bit more powerful directional flow. So if you're looking for something to increase circulation um, throughout the tank, that's better. The Waze, if you've got a dead spot in a corner somewhere where you want to really just blow the stuff out of the corner from the bottom of the unit, maybe this uh, Waze is the way to go, but this is the one I decided on. And don't worry about the guard, it comes with one. Alrighty guys, have a beautiful day. Make sure you have time to enjoy your fish tanks, and we'll talk soon.